One of our most requested recipes, one of our staples, crispy garlic rice. Here we go. All right, before we get started on the video, I just want to quickly say you guys have asked and asked and asked. And it's really one of those things where it's almost like it's too easy to create a video, but I really wanted to take this time, very little editing, to really show you the nuts and bolts of like what we consider like one of the best. So it's not necessarily the technique, it's the idea we stumbled across it. We'll get to that in the video. It's more about like, this has really become one of our favorites. We've actually done it with, uh, uh, when we go to our local Asian restaurant, instead of just upping the charge for like 2 or $3 more for fried rice, I'll bring it home, uh, throw it on the griddle, throw and throw this concoction together and just up the flavor. So we've done it a lot of stuff, um, not just in Asian cooking. We've done it with red beans and rice. We've done it with um, um, etouffee. So just a real simple idea. And I know a lot of you asked for it, so. You can't start the fantastic rice on the griddle without making rice from scratch. So we got uh, rice here. We're gonna make it on the stove because I get a lot of hate on, I use a rice cooker. We could do it both ways. It's not a big deal. First things first, we're gonna bring about three cups of water up to a boil. Water's up to a boil and we have a 50-50 mix of basmati and jasmine. Honestly, it does not matter. It's a personal preference. I like them both. So don't think that it's really gonna matter one way or the other. We've used uh, both several times on the channel. So from there, we're just gonna put it on our little thingamajigger, let it sit for about 15 minutes. Simple enough, we're gonna let this come to about room temperature. We're gonna plastic wrap it, put it in the refrigerator overnight, and then we're gonna make our rice tomorrow. Easy enough, it's the next day. We're gonna start our ingredients. Really one ingredient. We're talking about garlic fried rice, garlic crispy rice, you gotta have the garlic. So we got roughly about four to five cloves of garlic. So let's go uh, four cloves right there. That's a half of one, so we'll do it just like that. Okay, so four cloves of garlic, and we're just gonna do a small mince on this. You can slice it thin if you want to. I just like it minced. And your garlic should look something like that. Alrighty, we get asked all the time about temperatures. This is low, medium, and medium. So my low on this Traeger is 350, 450, 450, okay? Uh, it's a little bit hotter on the 450 zone, which is fine with me. Uh, we have that griddle temperature chart. You guys can check that out. Uh, the reason is because once this rice hits the griddle, it's gonna zap a lot of heat away. And I want it fried. I like the crispiness of the rice. Some people may not. This is where you have to do what you like to do. So, simply enough, how did we get here? The bottom line is we made Asian dishes since day one on the griddle. We did the video of um, does your fried rice suck? During that process, it's basically just an overview of how to make better fried rice. It went like the end all to be all. I'm sure we can make better fried rice if we sit there and, and make fried rice every single day. Just the basics, right? But what we found in doing that was this technique here. And we've actually done it just about every single time, whether it be on camera, off camera, because we liked it so much. So this is our go-to. This is literally what we make at home and just up the flavor, you know, you name it. So good amount of oil on the bottom. And what I like to do is just take the rice out. The idea is here, it's a two pronged approach. We're allowing the temperature of the rice to warm up. We're not touching the rice. We're not sitting here beating the rice. We will kind of like fluff the rice up a little bit, but we're not like trying to mound the rice off and cutting it and cutting it and cutting it because with spatulas, no matter what spatula you have, you're going to end up breaking the rice grains up and we don't want that. Second of all, like I said, if you leave it on the griddle on that one side, it's like the idea of cooking a chicken breast, um, a piece of uh, beef, pork. You got to let it do its thing on one side, okay? If you want the softer effect, you could start probably fluffing up right now. For us, I like to let it go that one side. I like to get that nuttiness on the bottom. We're not quite there yet. And it's basically just a slight browning. C 
see how fluffy that rice is now? Because we let it come up to temperature. So that's also an advantage of just keep it on the griddle, leave it alone. And while that's cooking, we can make a small well. We're looking at two tablespoons of butter. Now, the one thing I want to reiterate is another couple of comments that come through. You can't put butter on a 450 degree griddle. I agree. We mentioned this in several videos. That anytime you add product to a griddle, it's going to zap the heat away. That's why we're allowed to get away with it. Your griddle right here where the rice is, is not 450 degrees. So that's why you're able to get away with it. As the butter melts, we're able to add that garlic. While that garlic is going, we're going to add some salt. I did not salt my rice when I cooked it. You can. I like adding extra or uh, at the end. Same thing with pepper. And now it's a timing thing. You're really just allowing that butter and the garlic to come one. You can smell it right away. It's absolutely pungent as can be. And you're looking for color on the garlic as well. I can go ahead and cut the heat. Obviously, if you're going forward and you're making a fried rice, or if you're making um, any type of Asian dish, you'd keep the heat on, but there's no reason for us to keep it on right now. This is literally our go-to. So a lot of the dishes that you guys see um, that we make and the rice is already prepared, this is how we're making it nine times out of 10. See the color on the garlic? It's just now starting to turn, and that means we're gonna start incorporating. the spicy you can absolutely use that garlic spicy chili oil that we've been using lately 100% recommend it um, we didn't do it in this one because I want to show you the base of it because this is just an idea from here you can go multiple different ways notice we didn't add egg we didn't add any protein no vegetables no nothing this is the absolute base because whatever you do from here that is up to you so that spicy chili garlic oil is actually one of our must-haves we love it in our pantry uh, but this is kind of like the base so you can throw down like red chili pepper flakes you can do fresh chilies, um, however you guys see fit. If you want to throw your um, soy sauces down um, or teriyaki sauces for your um, style dishes, you could do that as well too. This is just the basic. I am not going to eat a whole bowl of this, but I am going to tell you, we're about to make from scratch red beans and rice, which is truly my all-time favorite. There's not many things out there that I would rank in my top five, and that's one of them. And we're going to make it from scratch on the show. You guys can follow along. Um, this rice is going to be for it. So, <sighs> I mean, mm, it's so strong flavored. I might eat a whole bowl of this rice. <laughs> I like the crispy bits. If you don't like the crispy bits, start it a lot faster. Just be careful. You're not using your spatula to break up the rice grains. Um, it's important to have a higher temperature griddle. Once you throw that cold rice down, it really zaps the heat away. You don't have to adjust your temperature up, but it will come back as the rice warms up, but it gets you a lot closer. You know that, that's really it. Very simple. I want to show you the process. This is what we use and eat nine times out of 10. We just fall in love with it. We stumbled across it, making that does your fried rice suck, and we use it ever since. Thank you guys so much for pushing us. Thank you for saying, hey, we want to see what you're doing, and that's why we just did it on here. Check us on Instagram. Check us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. Don't eat too much of this. I want this for the red beans and rice. I know. And look at that crispy. I love those little crispy bits. <laughs>